Listen to how a local Republican legislator describes some public comments made in Tallahassee about a bill named the Protection of Historical Monuments and Memorial Act. Comments that I heard today from several gentlemen, I'm looking right at you, were vile, they were bigoted, they were racist, they are what is tearing apart our state. State senators are considering the measure, with Jacksonville a focal point of the debate over preserving monuments that honor the Confederacy. Tark Miner is joining us with more on this emotionally charged controversy. Tark? We know some members of the public supporting this bill, they made it abundantly clear that they want to keep these memorials standing to promote white supremacy and to protect white society. These comments may have derailed Senate Bill 1122, and late this afternoon, Jacksonville's mayor also weighed in. Is part of the culture war being waged against white society? Lawyer David McAllister, who spoke in support of Senate Bill 1122, didn't hold back on how he really feels on the committee floor. The 71-year-old saying he wants Confederate monuments to remain standing to protect and promote white supremacy. I do not believe people who support this policy share your perspective on, on supporting white culture or supporting the concept of the need to push white su supremacy is what I heard. White culture, white supremacy. So I just want to clarify that was your intent in your public testimony today. Yes, it was. The comments prompting Fleming Island Republican Jennifer Bradley to second guess her vote. The comments that I heard today from several gentlemen, I'm looking right at you, were vile. They were bigoted. They were racist. They are what is tearing apart our state. They are what is driving a wedge between people. And you are the reason I am vacillating on whether or not to even vote yes, because it looks like I endorse your hatred. And I do not. The proposed bill recommends penalizing local officials who remove historical monuments. The bill would apply to all monuments, not just Confederate ones. The word Confederate isn't mentioned in the legislation. These statues were put up to honor the Confederate States of America, not the United States of America. They were put up in a time of segregation, better known as Jim Crow, and they were put up to sell, tell black people to stay in your place, or we might come to your house, drag you out, and lynch you. The bill was filed by Florida Senator Jonathan Martin, a Republican from Fort Myers, one day after this Confederate monument was taken down in Jacksonville Springfield Park, a move authorized by Jacksonville Mayor Donna Deegan. When asked about the fate of the new law, Deegan had this to say about the state potentially penalizing local officials for removing monuments. I, I think it's an overreach. I think local communities should be able to decide what they want to do. They're, they're elected officials that, that voters go and elect and put into office should have the opportunity to make those decisions. And Florida Senate President Kathleen Pasadomo issued this statement saying there are problems with the bill. More than that, there are problems in perceptions among our caucus on all sides. So I'm going to take that into consideration. I'm not going to bring a bill to the floor that is so abhorrent to everybody. Now, I did speak of one of, to one of her aides today who told me that the bill would have to change dramatically for her to move it forward now, saying it is a, a very heavy lift that has a lot of questions and a lot of problems now. She also said there are many other important issues that need to be addressed. The legislative session ends in one month in Tallahassee.